can a 16 year old muslim girl be legally married punjab and haryana high court says yes in the past the karnataka high court had said no the law says 18 is the legal age of marriage but the muslim personal law says it's 15 and so the debate continues in this video of kyc on your constitution i will tell you more about the reasoning behind the punjab and haryana high court judgment what the law says and why the confusion around the age of marriage continues so what has happened is that the punjab and haryana high court has granted protection to a 16 year old muslim girl who had married a 21 year old muslim boy and in doing so it noted that this was because she is of marriageable age under muslim personal law in his judgment the court referred to article 195 uh, from a book you can see the excerpt that the court quoted uh, on your screens right now this provision basically says that every uh, mohammedan of sound mind who has attained puberty can marry it also says that even lunatics and minors who have not yet attained puberty can also be married by their guardians um, they can basically validly get married through their respective guardians the explanation attached to article 195 says that when there is no evidence puberty is presumed on completion of the age of 15 years now citing this provision and article 21 of the constitution which guarantees the right to life and personal liberty the high court basically directed police officials to decide on a protection request that the couple had filed after they got married and this isn't the first time that the punjab and haryana high court has done this has given such an order in december last year it had held that the marriage of a 17 year old muslim girl with a 33 year old hindu man was valid in law but the debate arises because in india the legal age of marriage is 18 years for girls and 21 years for boys so this is what the prohibition of child marriage act 2006 says it makes it an offense to promote or permit child marriages this means that it's a crime if pay parents or guardians promote or permit or even negligently fail to prevent uh, a child marriage now according to this law a child or a minor like i mentioned is a girl aged less than 18 years and a boy aged less than 21 years so those are the marriageable ages for the two genders in case a child marriage does happen the law allows a petition to be filed to declare the marriage void once the child becomes a major but such a petition needs to be filed within 2 years of the child attaining majority of marriage that means this means that a girl can file a petition by the time she turns 20 while a boy can do so till he turns 23 now different high courts have also given conflicting judgments when it comes to uh, the conflicts between this uh, child marriage act and muslim personal law and this is where the problem lies now the karnataka high court and the gujarat high court they both held that in cases of minor muslim girls the 2006 law will prevail over muslim personal law which basically means that they have said that um, even muslim girls can validly get married only after they are 18 years old but the punjab uh, and haryana high court had ruled the reverse in 2018 also saying that muslim personal law would override the 2006 act it ruled that puberty and age of majority in muslim law are the same and that a boy or a girl who has attained puberty is at liberty to marry anyone he or she likes and the guardian has no right to interfere in such a marriage there are conflicting judgments from the high court and there is no authoritative judgment on this from the supreme court as well we did have a landmark judgment in 2017 in which a supreme court judge had acknowledged that uh, this child marriage uh, provision of child marriage act is a secular act applicable to all the court had said that this was a special act dealing with children and so its provisions and i quote will prevail over the provisions of both the hindu marriage act and the muslim marriages and divorce act in so far as children are concerned and quote that's what the court said however this case was about marital rape about uh, the exception to section 375 of the indian penal code so before this judgment this provision allowed the husband of a girl child between 15 and 18 years of age when the girl was that old it gave uh, the men blanket liberty and freedom to have non consensual sexual intercourse with her but through this judgment the court read down this provision to hold that sexual intercourse by a man with his wife who is below 18 years of age is rape but did not it did not touch upon the issue of age of marriage at all so the matter 
in a sense is still undecided union minister for women and child development smriti irani did introduce the prohibition of child marriage amendment bill 2021 in december last year this bill was under a lot of debate and discussion because it wanted to increase the age of marriage to 21 years so this law sought to make the age of marriage 21 years for women uh, across religions actually but this uh, bill hasn't seen the light of day yet and it hasn't become law yet so the matter like i said remains undecided that's all i have for you for now this is apurva mandhani for the print for more such videos do subscribe to our youtube channel and follow us on twitter instagram and facebook